Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we do have some new AI benchmarks that just came out today. And we're going to take a closer look at two companies that are really playing hard, are, are, are playing a big game here in the AI market. The first one is going to be NVIDIA. They continue to dominate, but Intel continues to share some great results as well. So let's take a closer look in today's episode. So first, let's just start off like always a quick look at price action. Right now, NVIDIA is sitting at $463, up roughly 1% as I am recording. Remember, NVIDIA is expected to report earnings in the upcoming weeks. So make sure to hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button as this is going to be the best channel you're going to get any NVIDIA news. Next, if we take a closer look at Intel, I really haven't seen much um, news come out of Intel outside of this AI solutions, but we can see Intel stock is down roughly 2% as I am recording, but sitting at $38. So it's still a nice, um, it, it's still near its 52 week high of roughly $40. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video and check out fool.com slash Jose for the 10 best stocks to buy now. With that link, you get a promotional offer for the subscription service. Now, let's continue with today's episode. So like I mentioned, today we are going to take a closer look at some new AI performance benchmarks that just came out today. And obviously, we're going to see that NVIDIA continues and continues to dominate. But here, I just kind of want to showcase you. Uh, I just want to showcase the some of the results. Here, we're looking at ML Commons, and this is the community or organization that hosts the uh, these kind of machine learning benchmarks. So here in this graph, what I'm taking a closer look at are all the organizations that submitted a benchmark and, and kind of the results when they're training a GPT-3 model. And I actually have it from slowest to fastest. If we take a closer look, and we're going to see at the, the charts in a bit, the fastest one is NVIDIA, which was able to train this in roughly 3.9 minutes, right? So almost uh, four minutes. And the second in line is going to be Microsoft with their uh, Azure big supercomputer it seems and that one is using h100 systems and it's very very similar to the same type of time that nvidia has and if we go through the list most of uh, all actually all the top players are nvidia until we make it to i guess number seven number eight um, which is google google did submit a result with their tpu um, they were able to do it in about 44 minutes here they do mention that look they're using 4,000 accelerators if we take a closer look, NVIDIA is able to do this kind of test with 4,000 accelerators similar to Google in under nine minutes. So Google with 4,000 TPUs was able to do it in roughly 44 minutes. NVIDIA with roughly 4,000 GPUs was able to do it in 8.5. So this kind of overall showcases how different the market is. And we continue to hear this battle between Google and, and, and NVIDIA and all these other players kind of creating their own ASIC solution. But I do believe numbers don't lie here, right? If you're comparing a one-to-one -one ratio here with a TPU and a Google and an NVIDIA uh, H100, there's no competition at all. So there's actually only three accelerators that ran this with um, accelerator systems. Like we see the H100. Then we also see Google's TPU. But Google, um, Intel actually ran the system as well. Intel ran the system with their Habana Gaudi, uh, Gaudi 2. Uh, accelerators unfortunately Gaudi 2 with the Gaudi 2 they only ran it with roughly with a very small amount of of accelerators the maximum was 384 which ran it in 153 minutes I'm just going to take a closer look to see if, if Nvidia has anything that small I think the smallest is this one of 512 accelerators so 512 accelerators they were able to do it in 58 minutes uh, so again Gaudi is pretty interesting but we don't see any really large ramp ups and if we did it does seem like nvidia still dominates it even when we take a closer look at lower accelerators uh, so i do believe this showcases a lot of great information for investors to kind of understand what is happening here here in the benchmark you can kind of also look at all different models there's different types of testing for example with gpt3 there's also things like stable diffusion which is really big i believe in image generation um, here if we take a closer look at image generation we can see the fastest is obviously nvidia as well uh, let me kind of just uh do it like this nvidia their their system with a crazy crazy a thousand accelerators was able to run the system in less than two in 
less than two and a half minutes, right? And the only other competitor here was uh, the Gaudi 2. Um, but in this Gaudi 2, there was only 64 accelerators and it was in 20 minutes. Uh, actually, here we actually have an NVIDIA system with 64 accelerators that was actually able to do it in 10 minutes. So in a system where they have the same amount of accelerators of NVIDIA's H100 versus Gaudi's 2, um, um, Gaudi's 2, we can see, and 64 accelerators, we can see NVIDIA is roughly two times faster. Uh, so I do believe this kind of bolts well and it kind of showcases how strong NVIDIA system is. There's even a system that's able to do it in eight accelerators in less than 47 minutes. Uh, so obviously, if you want to play around with it, you can definitely go to ML Commons and try to take a closer look at all the different solutions out there. Um, but right off the bat, we can see that NVIDIA continues to dominate the H100. They do mention sets new records in the latest industry standard test. But before we go any further, I do want to say thank you for the support. We just hit 28,500. 500 subs. I'm trying to hit 30,000 by the end of the year. So if you haven't, make sure to hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button. I do have a weekly exclusive video uh, membership program for the semiconductor market. Click join to learn more. Special offer at fool.com slash Jose. Free newsletter at josenaharo.substack.com. And free semiconductor news at semiconductorwatch.com. And if you guys saw those benchmarks, one of those computers that you saw a lot was NVIDIA's EOS. And for those that are not familiar with NVIDIA's EOS, this is NVIDIA's own system. So when NVIDIA announced the DGX H100 back in March 22 of 2022, um, they announced, they, th this is kind of their D DGX H100, H100, um, they announced that they were going to build the first DGX SuperPod, um, and that was going to be called EOX. And the main reason they, meant they made EOS, or EOS, I'm pretty sure I'm butchering the name, is it would serve as a blueprint for advanced AI infrastructures from NVIDIA as well as his OEM and cloud partners. So one thing that NVIDIA has done, and we've talked about this in this channel before, is NVIDIA, first they create their own market. They, they come out and say, hey, look, this is, I'm going to build a supercomputer. My supercomputer is going to be the best supercomputer in the world. But don't worry, just buy our products, just buy our H100s, just buy our networking solutions, and we're going to show you how to real, how, we'll give you the blueprint on how to build these crazy, crazy supercomputers. Uh, so that's why we can see that the EOS is, is very strong here. Um, and I'm going to guess, um, uh, this is, I, I don't have any facts right here, but I am going to guess that the system that Microsoft has, the Microsoft Azure, we did see it, um, also did some gr strong results here. Um, that system is most likely a mixture of, um, uh, a mixture of this blueprint that NVIDIA has created. Uh, so a lot of great information here. They do mention that, hey, look, um, right now the results that they are getting are nearly three times gain from the record that was introduced in the last six months. Obviously, one of the biggest things, though, is the company did kind of add more accelerators to the system. And like I was just talking about the uh, the EOS and Microsoft's supercomputer, they both employed the same amount of H100 GPUs. And if we took a closer look at the benchmark, but here um, NVIDIA actually showed us to us better, the NVIDIA supercomputer did it in 3.9 seconds, um, 3.9 minutes, and the Microsoft did it in roughly four minutes. And they're kind of showcasing that, look, it's not like we have a secret sauce or anything. We're sharing this blueprint. So it's not like we're doing... Uh, if you buy our products, we're going to work with you to make sure you have one of the best supercomputers out there. And overall, they do mention that NVIDIA, again, was the only company to run all the benchmark tests. And the H100 demonstrated the fastest performance and the greatest scaling in each of the nine benchmarks. So we can see NVIDIA is still the AI king. But regardless, a, um, Intel did come into the mix and they also did kind of showcase their solutions. We already saw the benchmarks on the, I, I just want to kind of share some of the overall thoughts here. They do mention that the Intel Xeon processor remains the only CPU 
report reporting on these benchmarks. So here, if we take a closer look at the benchmark, if we take a closer look at companies that did any of the benchmarks without accelerators, the only one that was able to do it was Intel with their Sapphire Rapid. And they ran a roughly four benchmarks here. Um, some of the results are pretty interesting, right? Obviously nowhere near as fast as any accelerator, but here Intel is showcasing that, hey, look, we're the only ones that are going to show you that, hey, we're, we're the only CPU product out there that is confident enough to show you some form of results in the benchmark. They also mentioned that Gaudi 2, Gaudi 2 is the only accelerator that is available commercially that also does this benchmark. The Like we saw the accelerators, there were only three. There was the uh, NVIDIA's H100, there was in, uh, Intel's Gaudi 2, and there was uh, Google's TPU. The Google's TPU is not available commercially. You can only get that via uh, via kind of Google Cloud. So Intel's Gaudi 2 seems to be like the only other option outside of the H100, especially if you want to see benchmarks behind there. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Take care, have a good day, and see you next time.